We're gonna make a super quick citrus vinaigrette that I love using over my watermelon salad. I also like to use it in green salads, when you have a pasta salad that you're like, oh, it needs a little flavor, orzo salad, Mediterranean dishes, this is it. I'm going to have all of the measurements below in the description box because I've pre-measured and I've already forgotten, but don't worry, I'll come back, add them for you. So, white wine vinegar into my jar and then olive oil. Now, if you don't have white wine vinegar, you can use champagne vinegar. It'll be milder. Um, you yes, before you ask, you could also use apple cider vinegar if that's what you normally use for your vinaigrettes. And then olive oil. The richer extra virgin olive oil you have, the more flavor and depth this vinaigrette is gonna have as well. Now, I do like to use a little bit of honey. It tones down the acidity from the vinegar in here. Right, just a bit, about a tablespoon or so. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt. And of course, to start the show, I have an orange and lemon. If you want extra citrus flavor, you could take a grater and put it right into your cup. Believe it or not, we were just laughing here that I can't find my juicer anywhere. If you can't find your juicer either, just take one of these and place it right over the top so it catches all of your pits. Making your own vinaigrettes takes just a couple of minutes. I have a balsamic vinaigrette on this channel that is unbelievable. I use it with my caprese salads, which I'll also link below for you. My caprese baked chicken, it's delicious with that too. Now, if you have a juicer, you will extract a lot more juice. And naturally, some citrus fruit are juicier than others, so that too. And next up, some lemon. Now, this guy really does have pits, so that's where this comes in very handy. See, friends, you don't need fancy tools to make simple recipes happen. No juicer, no problem. Now the last thing that I'm adding in here is totally optional, but I do love some shallots in my vinaigrettes. They do add a little bit of extra flavor, fresh, especially if you're gonna use it to toss in a salad. They, onions, shallots are cousins with onions. They absorb all of the citrus flavors, so they really taste much better than plain onions. And with a spoon, you're going to mix it around. Now, I don't like to add any kind of seasonings to this, but you could also add some, a little bit of Italian seasoning or oregano, fresh herbs in here. It's a great base for that, especially if you have a recipe that tends to be kind of plain. All you have to do now is place a lid on your lidded jar. And around it goes. <laughs> Wrong lid. I have a lot of lids. Let's find the right lid to this. This must be not the right jar. I not only have a lot of lids, but I also have a lot of jars, so. Okay. So, with a lid that fits tightly sealed, you can just shake it to emulsify it. You don't need an immersion blender or anything like that. So, just like this, it's ready to be served. You can keep this in the fridge for about a week and use it as needed, but now, right before you use it, you do want to give it a good shake to combine the olive oil, the vinegar, the citrus, and pour it right over as a dressing. Remember, the measurements to this vinaigrette are gonna be right below the video, as well as all the recipes I would love for you to try, and while you're down there, hit that red subscribe button. You and I get to cook together every single week. See you next time.